Hello all, this video is on using Picket 3 Debugger Programmer with uh, MPLAB X IDE or IPE. Different models of hardware are available in the market. The logic power make is uh, microchip officially approved and the Chinese clones are also available. These are also good models. In all these models, pin 1 is uh, indicated by an arrow which represents MCLR pin, that is a programming voltage pin. The latest Picket 3.5 version is a Chinese clone version and is faster than other models. We shall be using a PIC development board with 16F877 IC on board. The pin RD1 is connected to an LED and while connecting the Picket 3 hardware with the development board, take care of the connection pins. The pin 1 is uh, uh, MCLR that is VPP programming pin, pin 2 is uh, target voltage 5 volt, pin 3 is ground, pin 4 is uh, PGD data, pin 5 is PGC clock pin. On development board the position of the pins may vary so please take care of the connection. I recommend using this uh, demo board available in the market which is a very good companion for uh, Picket 3. Three jumpers are provided J1, J2, J3 so that you can use 8 pin, 18 pin, 28 or 40 pin ICs. For 40 pin, J1 should be in A position, J2 and J3 to be at 2-3 uh, position. We can easily plug this uh, uh, demo board to the hardware. Only thing you have to note is to take care of the arrow mark. Arrow mark should match the MCLR pin. While using the development board, Take care to connect the MCLR pin to the arrow mark and the ground pin to ground. If these two pins are reversed, then it may damage the hardware. No separate power source is required for the development board. It will be powered from the Picket 3. Connect the USB cable of Picket 3 to USB and then open the MPLAB XIDE. Click on File, New Project and select uh, Microchip Enabled Standalone Project and then select the IC name. Here we are using PIC16F877A and then select the device as uh, PICIT3. Now select the compiler XC8 and then provide uh, the project name. Click on uh, OK. Now the project is uh, created. Right click on uh, source files and then create a new C file. Now the window opens where uh, we have to feed in the C code. Before uh, starting with the code you have to set the configuration bits. For this open uh, click on window, pick memory views, configuration bits and then set the FOSC to HS. This is for external crystal, enables external crystal. We are uh, using 20 MHz crystal on board. So we select HS. All other settings are off. That is uh, watchdog, uh, low, low voltage enable, brownout, everything is off. Now click on generate source code to output. Now the configuration code is generated. Copy this code and then paste it on the top of the uh, C code. Include this statement hash define crystal frequency 20 followed by 6 uh, zeros. As we are using 20 megahertz crystal, you feed this uh, define statement. And then uh, in the main statement, main code, we make the rd1 pin as output and initially we make it on and after a delay we make it off save this file to generate the hex file uh, click on run build main project now the mplab x ide will generate the hex file the mplab x ide is capable of uh, uploading this hex file onto the target ic uh, from within the x ide itself for this click on the down arrow icon uh, seen on the top.
to make and uh, uh, program main project and then select pick it 3 now the x ide will uh, try to upload the hex file onto the target on the first try uh, you may get this error target is not found or uh, target is not powered so click on run and set project configuration and then click on customize select pick it 3 and then from under the drop down menu select power set the VDD voltage uh, to 5 volt and then uh, put a tick mark against power target circuit from pick it 3 now again click on the down arrow mark now the x id will be uh, will find the target and upload the hex file onto the uh, target ic on the pick development board you can see the rd1 led blinking note on the hex for where this hex file is created it is uh, created under project folder distribution folder and then default and then production note on this location of this hex file uh, which will be useful for uh, uh, uploading while using the MPLAB IPE now let us see the second method of uploading the hex file using MPLAB IPE this MPLAB IPE is installed along with the X IDE installation no separate installation is required now set the IC as PIC 16F877A and then click on connect on the first trial it will give an error go to settings and then click advanced mode it will ask for an uh, uh, it will ask for the password provide the password as microchip all small letters on the new window click on power button set the VDD as 5 volt and then provide a tick mark at uh, power target circuit from tool click on ok and then click the operate button now the target is uh, detected to upload the hex file click on the browse button and then navigate to the location where the hex file is uh, located earlier we created the hex file using MPLAB XIDE navigate to that location and then select the hex file click on open now click on the program button the hex file will be uploaded onto the target You can see the status LED on uh, Picket 3 hardware blinking while the hex file is being uploaded. Now let us see the standalone software uh, which was introduced by uh, microchip and later archived. This is not used uh, now. Let us see why. Visit the official microchip website and then scroll down to find the archives click on archives here you will find all the old MPLAB X IDEs and even the old C compiler high tech C is found here still further you can see the picket archives download the standalone picket 3 software Microchip call it as Picket3 Programming App and Scripting Tool. Unzip the folder. Inside this you find the application to install. Double click to install the setup. Once it is installed, you can open the app uh, 
remember to run this app as administrator otherwise you cannot close it properly for the first time the when the app appears it says that uh, the picket 3 target has no os you have to install the os for this uh, click on tools and then click picket operating system the operating system firmware hex file is found under the installation folder mostly it will be c program files microchip and then pick it 3 version uh, 3 when the firmware is uploaded you can do the erase write and verify operations successfully you can click on file and then browse to the uh, location of the hex file and then load the hex file click on program to program the hex file onto the target IC all operations can be done easily but notice that once the firmware is uploaded the complete operating system of picket 3 is changing this is not compatible with MPLAB X IDE or IPE once you have used this uh, standalone software and if you again open the MPLAB IPE and if you try to connect the hardware you cannot connect uh, it will give connect error as the operating system of the picket 3 has changed and it is not compatible with MPLAB IP or XIDE it is showing connection error the error informs that uh, the per source uh, uh, supply voltage is not enough but even after doing settings the error will pers persist to solve this close the MPLAB IP and then open the uh, picket 3 standalone software as uh, administrator again under tools click on revert to MPLAB mode the last entry you can see revert to MPLAB mode click on that now the software will inform you that it is uh, reverting to MPLAB mode and it will close automatically now open the MPLAB IPE and then in the advanced mode do the power settings VDD is 5 volt and uh, click on target to be enabled from the picket 3 now the target will be recognized and you can upload the hex file so it is always recommended to use MPLAB XIDE or MPLAB IPE to program the picket 3 do not use this uh, standalone scripting tool picket 3 which has been archived by microchip once you use this standalone software you have to revert to MPLAB mode only from within the uh, standalone software so as per microchip recommendation always use MPLAB IPE or MPLAB XIDE to program with MP picket 3 thank you for watching